G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the innovative 10mm pistol, also known as the Viper 6610. Anyways, this is a highly customizable standalone pistol using the Deliver animations, which we have a replacer for right now, so it's going to feel nice and fresh. So with all that out of the way, we'll get right into the attachments. First of all, we've got the receivers, as usual, and basically you've got the same thing going as the standard 10mm pistol receivers there. So that's pretty good. We'll go for a powerful auto receiver, we'll make this one automatic, and for the barrel, We'll increase our range and accuracy by putting on the long heavy barrel there. That's good. Moving on, and we'll put a sharpshooter's grip there for better recoil hit by accuracy. Very nice. And we'll go for a large quick eject mag. As you can tell, a lot of these modifications are directly from the 10mm pistol, so it's going to be very sort of um, familiar in that way. Anyway, so you've got standard sights right now. You can choose from a range of colored glow sights. You can have advanced reflex sights, which are basically reflex sights with a target tracking capability like your recon scopes. And there's also a different flavor of these, which is actually heaps. There's heaps going on here. So there's actually a little bit of customization. We'll go for an Institute Sky Blue um, Hexagon Advanced Reflex Art. Why not? And for the muzzle, we're definitely going to put a suppressor on there. Not only will that increase our damage, that'll make our stealth capabilities over the top. So that's very good. Now, there's no gunner paint for this, so we're just going to have to go with, I don't know, let's see, railroad paint. Sure, Al will be happy about that. And of course, a legendary effect does exist. So we'll get to shooting people, but before we'll do that, we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to actually pick up the legendary one of these. Cutting now. So this thing is obviously on the leveled lists, which means you can find it on enemies and also in vendors, but there's an easy way to get this in a guaranteed legendary drop. So you'll find it in this particular storage room. You'll either need the key or advanced um, terminal hacking to get through that. And that's pretty easy. And then you'll just find it next to this particular skeleton there. Yes. And then you're done. And there's also a hollow tape there to actually give you a little bit of a backstory to that. Let's give it a listen. Well, it's actually a reading thing, so if uh, you actually want to see that, I'm just going to chuck the download link there. There's actually quite a bit to go through, and yeah, so it's all a bit creepy. The weapon itself is obviously got the rapid effect, but it's negative two luck, so I guess there's some supernatural entity making this a little bit unlucky. I'm not really sure, but yeah. That's how you get it. We'll go ahead and get into some actual gameplay now. Righto, here we are in Gunners Plaza with our Viper 6610 or innovative 10mm pistol. The name is very unclear. As you can tell, that tracking diamond is there from our advanced scope. Now, looking at this thing in first person looks pretty slim in sort of uh, profile there. But when you actually look at this thing in third person, it is actually quite long. So I guess it's not really innovative in its um, compact design nor it's damage because this thing actually gets out damaged by the standard 10 millimeter pistol according to my calculations so there you go so first of all we're actually going to kill these turrets first because these are very very irritating turrets i like to shoot at you when you're in caution and since one of them is explosives it gives you a whole lot of uh, screen shake when it's firing at you which i don't really want that so we'll just take them out first and foremost and then we'll get stuck into more of these gunners over here Choosing sneak attack criticals is probably the easiest way to actually take out these guys. And even then, sometimes we're not even breaking the 200 damage mark. So, you know, this thing obviously doesn't quite pack the power as I really want it to. Which means, to be successful here, um, we're going to ha basically have to spam sneak attack criticals all the time. And, um, okay, now we are getting grenade spammed because gunner AI makes them throw grenades if you're slightly out of range. That's okay, we'll quickly sit in this corner for a bit until we're back in the caution and then we're able to do some more sneak attack crit nonsense there we go back in the caution and we might as well go this way we'll not we won't jump down guns blazing we'll do this proper stealthy pistol secret agent style why the hell not so these are deliver animations from war daddy they're pretty good this one is also my semi-auto one this one has the 10 millimeter sounds as well as the um Automatic one. This one is actually replaced by one of my battlefield sound mods. I'm really glad that was a basic gunner because she went down very very quickly. I like how the turrets shot like through the floor to where I ought to be and still gave me a little bit of screen shake there. That kind of sucks. Okay, we're back in the caution now, and now we can get ourselves some more sneak attack crits on these guys. We've got a decent mag capacity on this, so we can fire for quite a while, which is good. 
but the same can be said about the same uh, the standard 10 millimeter pistol so you know there's nothing too great about that what the fuck is this stupid aimbotting shit man these turrets are stupid either that or they've got like super sensitive IR tracking in their um, eyeballs there so, with this pile of dead gunners, we'll just go ahead and play this Guerrilla Warfare style. Things are going pretty good so far. I don't think we've been detected for too long, and we're constantly able to get some sneak attack crits going, which is good. Okay, so now we are definitely in. Oh my god, look at all the... Oh, instigating sledgehammer. I feel like dropping this gun and using that instead. I know I saw some sort of explosive weapon. I thought it was an explosive... Um, uh, 10 millimeter innovative 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, it's only Gunner Corporal. I thought that was the synth captain Bridget there for a second. I was about to go back to her ass, but we don't have to. Righto, fading out of danger once more. We'll switch over to our automatic one. I feel like this is a little bit better with the sneak attack spammery. Someone out here has got an explosive thing. I'm gonna find out who. Oh my god, the force from the explosions from the silly turrets actually makes all the bodies flip around. And look at all these grenades. This is like a just a pile of dead gunners throwing around even more gunners. Or maybe like pre-dead gunners. They'll be dead in a second, you know what I mean. Alright, so we'll go ahead and spam some crits on Captain Bridget McSynth Pants face. Come on. Yes, the real Captain Bridget prevails again and also is about to die. Retreat! Okay. I'm guessing Captain Bridget there was really unhappy about the vacuum tubes because she went into nerd rage when I activated that menu. Okay. As interesting as that was, we'll go ahead and make the most out of our extra damage here and try not to get killed. As you can tell, I think we're nailing the headshots there and we're getting almost a thousand damage which is pretty crazy i'm gonna move oh it's a staggering innovative one so there definitely was an innovative one here see like i said this thing was definitely a um thing that is added to the level list via script so that's nice now we're on very low health at this point and um now i've got gunners charging at me from basically everywhere more grenade spammers that's always fun who, th who even threw that what the hell Okay, time to hide in a toilet cubicle for a bit. This is totally how secret agents hide. Just ask 47 from Hitman. Wow, it's actually working. I bet any second now he's gonna come charging through the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on this side so when he opens the door, oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking about the other toilet here. Righto. So who is not dead at this point? Not a lot of them. So this one, you can sort of hide in this section here, and then when they open the door to come investigate, you're sitting behind the door so they can't see you for that little extra bit longer. Righto, the combat music has stopped, which means the game is not really um, thinking I'm in danger right now, so that's a good indication to actually move up. Looks like there's one there. Right, back in a danger for a second. Looks like we've got a bunch on this sort of level. We're out of sight, so we're right back into caution, which is good. Having a high sneak is definitely good when you're using a weapon, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but hey, with a suppressor, you can do heaps of it. Righto, we might as well take out this lone melee gunner in here. Usually it's alone, but um, maybe she's got a few friends due to more scripted spawns. We'll see. Nope, I guess she's just got bad BO because um, she has no friends, unfortunately, for her. Okay. Ah, yes, it's those bloody turrets. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous taking them on like that, but we might as well take out the rest of these turrets. There he is. That one was a puny one. I actually got a sneak attack crit on him. That's why I killed him so quickly. Righto, we'll duck into this room. Damn it, we're in danger. That's fine. All we need to do is sort of hunker down here and maybe enter vats if they decide to come into this room. Okay, that lieutenant went down pretty quickly, which was nice. Doesn't look like these rest of the gunners actually want to push the advantage here, which is useful for me. Might have gone into nerd rage again because I'm actually pushing the damage through the roof now. That's nice. Anyways, I think we're about done in Gunners Plaza with extra spawns. So, there you have it, even though this thing is outpaced by the 10mm pistol of the vanilla game, you can still do pretty good 
in a crowded gunner's plaza provided you're good with stealth, which, you know, the same could be said for the 10mm pistol as well as other suppressed weapons. Hell, I could have done that with a standard submachine gun. I would have grinded my teeth to dust in frustration about it, but you know what? Um, what wouldn't make you grind your teeth to dust in that? Also, it appears I'm not done yet, so I started celebrating a little bit too early, and I'm not really um, happy about where these guys are. And my sound almost crashed the game for a second. Yeah, every day it seems like an upgrade is a good alternative to using this old clunker. We've only had it for, what, two years or something? Maybe less? And I'm already starting to get sick of its apparent lack of power. Never mind. Right, so we were in hidden for a little bit, which means we did get some of our health back. You're gonna get critted. Looks like the crits do a little bit better damage when we've got this thing with the standard receiver there. Just test that again. Yeah, that's almost half our ha health gone there, which is actually kind of neat. Okay. So there you have it, that was the uh, innovative 10mm pistol, or the Viper 6610 in Gunners Plaza. For real this time, I didn't celebrate, I, I think I've got them all this time. Yep, definitely hidden, and everyone's definitely dead. So there you have it. Uh, make your own judgments about the damage there, but honestly, I'm actually not too happy with it. But it's still a nice looking weapon, so that is very good there. Righto, we'll move on to something else, and actually want to compare it directly to a 10mm pistol, see if I'm not going mad. Wait, no, my bad, I'm actually going mad. The um, innovative 10mm pistol does actually out-damage the standard 10mm pistol, so uh, yeah, that was my bad. Apologies for that misinformation. So I guess with that actually in the know now, we can actually say that this thing is actually a little bit better than the 10mm pistol. You can squeeze a little bit more damage out of it, which is nice. I guess I did put up through the ringer there in um, a scripted, uh, more scripted spawning of Gunner's Plaza there. But you know what? It actually performed quite well. So the final verdict is actually, yeah, it's pretty positive. I kind of like this. Um, it's not a pistol mod that I want to keep around to actually um, use during a live stream or anything, but it's definitely a nice mod, and if you do like the look of and feel of this weapon, it's actually a nice addition now. I'll just get out of the settlement so we can actually look at this thing better in the good old uh, third person. But yes, I do actually recommend the download if you're interested. Links will be in the description, as well as a few of my other usual links that I put in there. Thank you for watching, guys.